in a standard game of chess, a knight is able to move two directions to the right and one direction up. It is able to do this in every direction represented by these circles. Now when we move the knight to the edge of the board, you can see that some moves are now cut off. Now the question I want to propose, what is the minimum amount of knights necessary to dominate a chessboard? To start, we will show how many knights it takes for a 3x3 three three chessboard. I'm going to drag the knight across the entire board to represent how many squares the knight is able to take up at each position. Notice that the knight itself is included in the number of squares it takes up. As you can see, the only way to have the middle square taken is to have the knight in the center. So therefore, we have to put a knight in the center square. Now we have eight squares left to fill. Since each knight can only at maximum dominate three squares, we will have to have three more knights to cover those eight squares. Now moving up to the 4x4 board, it is pretty simple. Since we know we needed 4 knights for the 3x3 board, we at least need 4 knights for the 4x4 board. And it just so happens that the 4x4 board can be dominated with only 4 knights as well. Now before we solve the 5x5 board, it is important to know that a 5x5 board will contain 25 grid squares. I'm going to prove that you cannot solve the 5x5 board with only 4 knights. In order to do this, let's first map out how many positions a knight would take up at each position on the 5x5 board. Now to start, I'm going to prove that you need to put a knight on the 9 square. If you don't put a knight on the 9 square, then you would have to have 3 knights on the 7 squares in order to take up all 25 positions. However, if you had 3 knights on the 7 squares, they're not actually taking up 21 positions. They are only taking up 15 positions because they overlap with each other. So therefore, you cannot have three knights that take up seven positions on the chessboard, meaning you have to place a knight on the nine square. Now when we do this, this changes up the numbers of the grid since now some of these positions are already taken up by our center knight. Now we need a knight on the 7 square to take up 7 spaces. If we had 3 knights on the 5 squares, we would not take up all 25 squares on the chessboard. Now when we put our second knight down, we can see that we have 9 squares left to fill. Using only 2 knights, the only possible way to fill 9 squares is to put both knights on the five squares in order for them to take up 10 spaces. But if you do this, you can see that they will not take up 10 squares. They will only take up eight squares. Therefore, we need a fifth knight in order to fill up a five by five board. For a six by six board, I'm going to mark some squares with A's and some squares with B's. Notice that no matter what, a knight cannot take up more than two A squares or two B squares. As well, a knight cannot also take up an A and a B square at the same time. Therefore, we need four knights to contain all A and B squares. Before I put these four knights on the board, notice that no knight that touches an A or a B square will also touch the bottom of the board. So therefore, I will put C and D squares at the bottom of the board that will behave the same as the A and B squares since the board is symmetrical. So therefore, we need four knights to cover the top row and four knights to cover the bottom row. And when we do this, you can see it also covers all squares on the 6x6 chessboard. Now comes the 7x7 proof, which is even easier than all proofs before. Consider the squares marked A. I'm going to show you that no knight can cover two A squares at once meaning that each A square needs its own knight. Now that that is shown, if we cover every single A with its own knight, we can see that it also covers the entire board, meaning that we only need these 10 knights in order to cover a 7x7 board. Lastly, the 8x8 board, which is a standard chess board, has the same proof as the 7x7 board, just with different A positions. So I'm going to quickly show you that a knight cannot cover more than one A square. Therefore, we need 12 knights in order to cover an 8x8 board. As this is going on, I would like to mention that these proofs come from a website that is linked in the description, and I would recommend checking it out if you want to know the knight coverings for larger chessboards. 
Also, this video took a lot more time than my previous videos, so any feedback would be appreciated. Now here is the 8x8 board fully covered by the 12th Knights.